Application combination with key power of SP, right? This key is similar to it, just in your lab, that's the phone is multiplied with key power of SP. Uh, here is, sorry, key power of minus SP, right? Uh, here is there for minus key. So your, after you have done the Z platform, then your Z operator can be considered for work as a time shift. Okay, if Z for minus one, we have shift to the back. Okay, if Z plus one, we have shift, okay, to the forward. And if you want, if you are familiar with MATLAB, okay, you can also use some MATLAB command, okay, to, to come up the teacher transfer function, okay. So if you have a nominator and denominator, you just put the nominator and denominator there, but also put your time here. Because the digital control, the digital control function, you need to have a time. You need to determine the error. And you can also use some format to find the four and zeros. The CDK is the same as a continuous format. But you may also, you need to put the time here, okay? To indicate this is a digital one. So in your continuous control, you also have learned something about the block diagram, right? You also learn how to operate between your transfer function and your block diagram. Correct, right? So actually, in the digital domain, it's almost the same as your continuous domain for the block diagram. So if you have the two link together, basically, this is the summation. Okay, the better whether it's plus or minus, right? This is the summation. If you put in sequence, this one is the multiplication. If you have the reverse mode left, this is also the closed loop. Right? So exactly the same as your continuous domain. Right? Your continuous control, I think you are very familiar with this already, right? Okay. Yeah, I have to talk to my friend again. What? Okay, in your continuous domain, what you have? You may have an S operator, right? That means differentiation, right? You may have S power minus 1 means integration, right? Yes or no? Yes. So now, in the digital control, you may also have the Z operator. Then this one is just to shift your time to minus 1. Okay? So for example, here, your UK plus 1 is equal to your EK. But after you multiply with Z power minus 1, then you shift your Time to the previous, okay, previous one. So you can also use this one to represent the trapezoidal integration. So what does this one mean? And you get your transfer function for this block diagram. Oh.
So this one should be the same as the
any integer number, then you can move to other supplementary uh, space or areas. So now let's look at the fundamental okay, of one euro cycle, okay, which is from minus pi to positive pi. Okay. So if you see when your s is equal to j omega in your imaginary axis, your y axis or your omega axis. So what means? Then this one means if our j omega t, if e of j omega t is what? Different omega will represent different angle. That means if you go to the z domain or the z plan, will be the unicycle. From the zero to to pi. Okay? Or from minus pi. Or from minus pi to positive pi. Okay, so you see your y axis or your imaginary axis can be mapped into your unit circle to the z domain. And then how about your real? If on your positive side, when right hand side, your system is unstable, which is corresponding to your space outside of your unit circle. So it's here, okay? Because this one is real, if it's real number, you will have a real number, right? So this, but this one, if you yours is on the positive side, means your s is greater than zero. Then your e power s e will be greater than what? As simple as that. Then your right hand side positive real number will be nothing. The real axis but outside of unit circle. And this one is unstable. Remember, only when your roots are inside your circle is stable. If your root loci is inside the unit circle, it's stable. In your z domain. Your root loci is from your left hand side, is stable in your s domain. Because your left hand side basically maps into your unit circle. Your right hand side basically is mapped to outside the unit circle. Is that right? Okay, then how about the negative real axis? The negative real axis means something real and also less than one. Then this one will be positive value but less than one. So you see this is a circle that match into this circle. So we will be on the positive real axis but inside the principle of the table. Then how about this one? This one means if you are the age, if you are the age of your positive pi, negative pi, it means this one also at this three, which is minus pi or positive pi. But on the negative side, but as long as yours is on the left hand side, it's inside the room. And lastly, this one. This one it means is your damping ratio is fixed. If your damping ratio is fixed, you know the damping ratio, this one will go into root of this one. And we are going to discuss it in detail. So this is some extra material I have for MIT rather than the class though, because my actually this one may introduce better case comparison to use the S and You can also download this one from the link I provided. So basically, this is a relationship. In the z domain is this one, in your s domain is this one, and your s is basically is a imaginary number, right? Real r plus r. So if you want to do the mapping, when your s equal to zero, when your s equal to zero, this one will map with your positive one. So your original in your s domain will map with your positive one and your z domain. And if you have a j omega, which means your real number is zero, you only have positive or negative of the omega, then this one in your imaginary axis in your s domain will represent the angle in the z domain. Right? Because basically just now this one, if you look at the complex number, the medium of omega is the 
So this one we have been uh, this one increased from zero to high. This one will shift from the positive one to here. If this one moves to the negative side, this one will move to this side. And this one is in line with the unit circle. So your marginally stable in your X domain will map to the unit circle in the Z domain. The number, the value in your imaginary axis represents the base angle in the general Okay? So if this one is zero, your base angle is zero. If this one is go to pi, then this one is go to pi. If half pi, then it's half pi. If negative half pi, negative half pi, if minus pi, then minus pi. Okay? So this is how we map. And another interesting one, for any for the same real number, okay, if the real part is the same but the space are different, then this one will map corresponding to a certain circle inside the unit circle. If on the left hand side. Of course, if on the right hand side there will be a certain circle outside of the unit circle. And this one is talking about your settling time. Okay? And how do we determine the magnitude? Remember your positive side, sorry, your real part is negative. So your minus pt will determine your magnitude, will determine your median of the circle. It basically the meaning for this one. Huh? This one will tell you the radians. This one will tell you the, sorry, this one will tell you the length of radians and this one will tell you the angle, right? So basically, if your real part is fixed, means your region is fixed, so it's a circle. Okay, if your real part is a negative side, negative value, then your E part of negative something will be less than one. Then your, your circle will be inside your region. Okay, and when your W, sorry, when your omega changes, your region will change, your angle will change. Okay? And if your angle is fixed, Okay, if the angle is fixed, then this one will result in a constant static vision. Okay? And for the whole part in your negative side will map into your unit circle. And even for those, for example, this one, you have another two pi, then this one will still map to the same thing. Okay? If you have another two pi, we'll map to the same thing. Because Just now we mentioned, this one will repeat the same when you have four cycles to come in, right? And if you have a negative real axis, means imaginary part is zero. Imaginary part is zero means your angle is zero. Then this one will map from your positive one to your original. So your both negative side will map into the original position. Okay. And the age of your pi and minus pi is so called the oscillatory region. This one you just imagine that uh, go 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 then this one will map into a positive pi, and this one will map into negative pi, and in here, of course, if yes, you go to the most negative side, you will merge here. Okay, what we mean is, here your positive pi, it means the positive pi from here, go, 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 here. Because if this one is zero, you will map at the unit circle, right? Once you have become more, more, more negative, this one will move, move, more in the, in, in the. When this one goes to the negative infinite line, this one will go to the negative. And similarly for the mi minus pi. Minus pi initially we have a minus pi point here. You need circle when you go to increase, this one will go to the inner inner. inner. But this one goes to the most negative. Okay? Negative infinite line. And this one will go to the original point. And the damping mixture, or the mid-long time, the LF, 
And this one, the natural frequency, the thousand natural frequency, these are the mic. Yeah, we'll we'll the natural starting point, ma. starting point, the main point of the game. And imagine you are able to add the your frequency to the second order system, but your S command to your Z command. Okay, so you see this one, this one is for the constant tapping ratio. Okay, so this one is your nature frequency. And N, N means the number of samples. Okay, number of samples. Okay, for your function. 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 Okay, if there is no questions, 